we're exploring a variety of themes here at the Tacoma Art Museum with Western American art. We're looking at the art of the West across time and looking at how this artwork uh, develops through the 19th century and the 20th century. Um, we're looking at stories and icons and uh, looking at how these artists are using images to tell stories, to, to create narratives, at this dichotomy between uh, imagination and myth in the American West. We're also looking at landscapes and artists in the land, how artists are inspired by landscapes, by animals of the West, um, and how artists have even shaped our perceptions of the land. So in addition to master works from the 19th century and 20th century, the Howe Collection also includes work by living artists who are working today. This is a landscape by Bill Shank from 2002, called South of the San Juan. And Bill Shank uh, was really interested in pop art. He uh, went and uh, worked in New York City early in his career. He worked with Andy Warhol with the factory uh, and worked with a lot of appropriated imagery. And he then was uh, inspired by spaghetti western film in the late 1960s to start incorporating western subjects into his work. This painting is by a Chinese American artist, Man Situ. And uh, Situ is really interested in studying Chinese immigrant experience in the American West. Uh, so this artist is seeking to um, put in a Chinese immigrants back into the history of the West. Um, here he's showing this uh, Chinese family in San Francisco um, being photographed in a, a photography studio. And so he's showing that A, the West has a variety of people in it, and also that the West is both an urban and a rural place. We often think of the West as a place of open plains and mountain tops and the West also includes places like San Francisco and major cities in the United States.